is the Rushmore Show, where it's all about your top four and no more of that theme song. All right. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, I don't know, noises it's are happening. Live. We're live and it's Tuesday night. Yeah. We're never live on a Tuesday, but uh, we're, we're never live on a Tuesday. First time alive on a Tuesday. Oh, on a Tuesday. Yeah. So, Andy, bro, we are uh, we're here. It's it's the ending. We got two more weeks left of music. Already got six folks in the chat. As you guys are coming in, talk down in the comments. Where are you finding us? Where are you watching? Are you watching on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch? Um, but here's the thing, man. We uh we have a good show running right now. That it's midweek and uh, it's it's doing great. It's a, it and and we just kind of put it out there and all of a sudden we're doing another show. So uh, man, we're going to kind of overlap, but it was a need because this weekend we have a big event. And then on top of that, uh, we're bringing on a, a couple of friends. So in order to get it all together, the way it needed to work, we had to get them down. So here we go. Andy, I know you're excited about this. What do you think about last show though, man? Last show, tons of fun, man. Uh, bringing bringing your friend on, it was just a it's a great time. He's actually messaged us since. So on the episode, he talked about uh, being a, maybe it was on the episode, maybe it was after the fact. Who knows? But he's uh, he's refing some stuff, and he was out there at Lambo refing. Uh, yeah, he was he was at the Lambo like of training facility. So yeah. Alex, if you're out there, man, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I see some people kind of chiming in. Jonathan, yeah, welcome to the show. Davis is in the house. Javis is here. Uh, we got that's not Jonathan Davis from Corn, by the way, just so you know, uh, Kirk. Uh, yeah, but we got a lot of fun people Our on time, here. Excellent. All right, so look, we are going to do a, a very unique Rushmore today, guys. So bear with us as you guys come on in. Uh, our show has been running now. I see there's some new folks in the house. Uh, our show has been running now for three years. And I can't believe it's taken three years to get this group of friends on because I've heard nothing. Uh, but whenever I hear music, I've heard nothing but this band. Right. And so we're going to whole band joining us today. And uh, what a fitting way to come in with music. And uh, Andy, I, I, I see these friends. So I'm going to I'm going to give them a little love. So if you're out there, this is for you. Summit Squad, and uh, that's just our 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 friend our friendly way of saying welcome to the family. We are going to be talking about our Rushmore of guilty pleasure artists today. It was going to be songs, and then we kind of adjusted and went to artists. Uh, thought it might be easier. I think it might have made it even harder. Uh, but uh, we have a uh, uh, just a fun show because here's the deal: your band Andy is coming on to join us. And yeah. they are a specific type of genre of band. And uh, Guilty Pleasure might bring out something that isn't nowhere near the genre. <laughs> well, I'm going to mention it in my criteria, but just to give you a little bit of heads up, part of the reason I thought that this would be a really cool uh, topic, at least was interesting for me, was we're, we were a metalcore, metal, you know, just heavy band, right? And... Uh, even while playing metal, most of us in the band, you know, I know me for sure. I was listening. Most of the music I was listening to was not metal. Right. I mean, I was listening to metal, but I was listening to everything else, too, because if I were to just live my life in metal, I would have gone crazy. But that's what makes this fun. You know, so you see a bunch of you're going to see a bunch of bearded guys here today and it's going to be music that you probably wouldn't think that would uh, be something that they would enjoy. So it's going to be telling today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very excited for the conversation. <laughs> well, look, man, let's, uh, I mean, we got a long show, I think. We, uh, guys, bear down yes. with us. Ten friends, top four, Rushmore, guilty artists. Start putting them in the comments. Let's go. <laughs> Well, it should say guest hosts because we've got hosts. multiple of them. So, Andy, uh, tell us about your your friends that are coming to join us. We we know a few of them. 
yes, because yes. they've been on before, but never all together. Yes. So as, uh, as you announce them, I'll, I'll bring them on to the stage. Well, let's start off with the ones that you guys are used to. One of the reigning champs here as far as how many times he's been on the Rushmore show. Give a warm Rushmore welcome to Dennis. Dennis is here. Not yet. Dennis is here. There's Dennis, but Dennis looks different now because he's got a beard. What's up, guys? Dennis, Dennis wanted to join the, the club. Through the front. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got Dennis. So then you also know uh, Daniel Eller. He was on here a couple weeks ago. What's up, Daniel? What's going on, everybody? Yes. There he is. There's Daniel. Uh, let's move on. We've got David Finn joining us, too. Look at that. From the Yo. living room. Here he is. <laughs> And uh, then the other two have no not been on the show before, but I'm going to welcome you to Brett Charlet and Chris Torres. Everybody, what's up? What is yeah. going on? And you're moving around like crazy. It's fun. <laughs> Got a microphone. Get busy. What's up, fellas? Everybody, so, hey, welcome. Well, well, hey, what's going on? <laughs> so, uh, we didn't tell us. Tell us. Tell us some stories, guys. Some, some some good stories. Andy, introduce them. Tell us about the band. Tell us about yeah. what's going on for all our friends that are new to this. Yeah, well, so you see in the title of the episode, we were Invoke the Nightmare, and then for a short time, night came quickly, but we don't count that. Uh, but we were Invoke the Nightmare. Uh, we've got Dennis. Uh, they've, I think they all have, except for David, what they did. David uh, played drums for one of the shows. Uh, that yeah. story we won't tell. <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> After that the infamous injury show. show. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, 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 we don't talk was, about that. But David, it was for the kids. <laughs> it was for the kids, exactly. <laughs> and you stepped up I and you did that it, for dude. Myself. <laughs> so, so, Kirk, just so you know, David's the one who played the drums on the show when I got ridiculed for not being able to play drums because the drummer from Def Leppard could play. Oh, it. You're not, yeah. you're not Def Leppard. <laughs> Dennis's dad, Dennis's dad ragged me all night. The guy from Def Leppard. <laughs> That's how poorly I did. They were like, dude, come on, seriously, get up there and play the drums right. Now. Well, to, be fair, to be fair, I gave you eight hours notice, I think. To, to and like, you wanted to cover August true. Burns Red. And yeah, like, we were like, it can't drummer. be a new. About? <laughs> we kept it on the set. Why didn't we change that? I know. <laughs> Uh, let anyways, it ride. So, let it ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, David and Daniel are uh, both bassists. Uh, we we kind of interchange members. We have another bassist who's not here tonight, so we have plenty of those guys. Uh, but they were they were both part of the band. Brett and Chris on guitar, uh, and then you guys know Dennis with vocals. I was the drummer, and uh, my tagline here says, "I'm with the Doobie Brothers." So we went on uh, a what you call it a tour. Uh, we had a tour bus. It was the worst financial decision any of us probably had made up to that yeah. point. Um, and uh, and there was we went to a mall one day, and then we we came out to our tour bus. And if I remember correctly, there was like police cars around it, or maybe this was just to us. And they said that some homeless guy, I guess, tried to break into our our bus, and he was claiming to the police that I'm with the Doobie Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just Finn in this beard. Is what it was. <laughs> yeah, very Michael McDonald. Uh, but, uh, yeah, fun, so we got the whole band together. Most mostly the whole band together here. So, oh, ja yeah, Jonathan J uh, Javis was there for that. He says he was. was there for that. He was he was there. He's he not the drum. Double bass. Double bass. <laughs> Double bass. All I know is that Javis just looks so handsome in his sunglasses. Yeah. He lost it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the that's gas money, sunglasses. sunglasses. That's <laughs> <laughs> that was gas money, but now they're sunglasses. In so, the ocean or something. So tonight she was very back. pretty, to be fair. Who is who is this person? I can't even I don't even know. That's, oh. that's the singer of Nesma. Oh nice. What's up? What's up? What's up? My oh <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I got to tell this. Somebody's got to tell this story real quick. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we were uh, we were doing, I guess, a meet and greet in the Hot Topic in a mall. Um, and a very sweet woman um, did not speak much English at all, was asking for uh, a little bit of help. She had a flat tire um, and we voluntold Javis to help <laughs> her change her tire. 
And she was the most appreciative woman in the world that I think referred to him as the baby angel for <laughs> far too long. <laughs> Did yeah, she pay us in rupees or something? She paid us in something. <laughs> no. Rupees. It was it was Russian or Ukrainian, <laughs> former USSR, something. It was. Oh Dennis still God. has those bills too. I have one of them. It was Romanian. The band fund. Yeah. Oh, Romanian. Romanian. Yeah. Romanian. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. And they were playing our music in Hot Topic. Why? Yeah. I don't know why. They played the curse. The curse was. Who playing. wouldn't? Yeah. We were <laughs> on the yeah, in there for two hours, and they played the four song EP probably <laughs> seventeen <laughs> times. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were gonna say one. So songs just, were I want to get pretty it. long. I want to get into the topic tonight, but one thing that I thought was really <laughs> funny about that tour is we were touring with a, 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 a band who was like signed to a label. We're on a tour bus <laughs> and they're in a minivan of all the whole band. <laughs> so we're going from four cities, wherever we played in Florida. And uh, hey, look, Nerd Squish is in here. Tracy's here. And Pascagoula. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're, you know. I don't know. It was a bad decision. Anyway, but it was tons of fun, lots of fun stories. So, plus the bus driver stole Brett's change. Oh, yeah. I lost. <laughs> and your blanket, too. And his blanket. And his blanket. <laughs> so, your blankets and your change. Yeah. It was a very cold night <laughs> on the couch. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So, hey, look, let's, because this episode is going to take a while. Like, if you're here watching this, we got 13 viewers right now. That's amazing. Thank you guys for joining in. Strap in, <laughs> hang out with us a little bit. We're going to talk guilty pleasures, uh, so stick with us. It's going to be a ton of fun. We're not doing Benjamins tonight, though, so so you only get a Rushmore, so it's a little bit different special episode. Kevin's in the house. What's up, Kevin? My boy Kevin, he was on the show a few weeks back. My Dalton, One of my buddies from his, eighth, ninth grade. Dalton says, Nickelback, Paramore, Three Doors Down, and Trapped are his guilty pleasures. <laughs> Paramore was on my list, and it didn't make the cut. That's awesome. Yeah, it didn't make the cut. Would have been a Benjamin. Paramore would never make my guilty pleasures because yeah, I, uh, I, Andy, that's probably that's offensive. That, that makes so. That's why I backed it off because I mean everybody loves Paramore, right? I mean guilty pleasures, you love it anyway. But I, we'll yeah. talk about it. anyway. So let's get let's started. Start. So I think we decided, Dennis. You've been on here uh, out of everyone uh, guest wise. So I put here. them in the order as they are going, except for oh. us. So yeah, perfect. All right, so Dennis. You're going to get us started with your Rosie, but before you do that again, uh, what were you thinking? I think we kind of have a group chat, and a few of us have different ideas what we think of Guilty Pleasures, which makes this really cool. So um, why don't you let everyone know what's your criteria, and then get us started with your Rosie. Uh, my criteria was basically something I'm not going to turn off when it comes on the radio. I am actually might turn it up a little bit. And... Unless I'm next to somebody that doesn't think it's cool, then I'm going to turn it down. All right. All right. Good criteria. That's good. That's good. What you got for your Rosie? My Rosie <clears throat> is, I, I would put her rock adjacent, actually, is uh, I'm going to go with pink. Pink. Ooh. Hey. All, right. Nice. All, right. All right. All right. Very nice. Okay. Good, good stuff. Tell us about pink. Yeah, which, pink, which I just. I don't know. I've always really liked her attitude and stuff, and I think she has a great voice. And uh, I don't care who knows it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a beautiful woman. I like her as a person for sure. <laughs> uh, Pink. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, there's some songs that I hate by Pink. There's, <laughs> like that. What's that? Well, na, 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 na. I hate that yeah, song. Yeah, that song. song but, there, <laughs> but there's all your stuff. But yeah. But there's some really good ones. There are. Like, uh, and I, well, I can tell you that's the song I hear the most is the the na 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 because that is the song they play at the softball games on repeat. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. And I do like Pink. Wait, no, I like that song. That, that is a good song, actually, Andy. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, I would rock. And he's not ashamed sure. of it either. I'm not ashamed of it. Whoa, I'm sorry. Well, anybody anybody opposed to Pink? <laughs> What? <clears throat> Anybody opposed to Pink? I, I'm not. I, I don't. I don't listen to her enough to really even know her deep tracks, um, which I'm sure are better than her na 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 na's. Um, 
<laughs> but I do love her as a person because my mom and my sister love her like to death. So I've always liked her as a person for uh, for that too. So that's all I got on her. Well, there you go. <laughs> what about the? Yeah. You got to tap into the the B sides, I guess, because I'm really only familiar with the big hits, and that one melody is very grating. And Chris, honestly, because you know everybody on Earth, I honestly thought you were going to say in some way you were related to her. So <laughs> I would not have been surprised. I'll have well, to check the family tree. Yeah, Green. it's in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is Carol. Look, yeah, he dated a girl who went as blue, which is Pink's evil doppelganger. <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> I guess we use the opposite of thing. <laughs> yeah. Which could be somebody's. Hey, that might be somebody's. Uh, five tonight. on this list. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, but anyway. <laughs> all right, Dennis. Good way to start the mountain, man. That's pink. We're gonna we're gonna go there. That's that's a good way to start it, man. All right, look, man, yeah. we got a lot of folks in the house, 19, 20, bouncing hey, back. Right. All right. That's oh, my mom. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's my related hey, Chris is my mom. So, that's obviously, the band man. brought friends and fam, guys. You're welcome to, to kind of hang around. We do this every Friday night uh, at, or uh, normally, and uh, well, this is a special one on Tuesdays. But if you've come to join us, put your top four favorite guilty pleasures. Basically, uh, if if somebody pulled up next to you at a red light, you might roll the windows up and, and and turn the volume down. But something you really love. But all right, so who's next? Who's next? We've got Daniel Eller is going to be next on board. What's your criteria? And then give us your road. I mean, no, Kirk basically nailed it. It's like one of those things. Like if it's playing and like I have my windows down, or if I have my windows down and then it, it starts playing, I'm usually going to like kind of look around just roll them up you know <laughs> but i'm not gonna turn it off i just don't want anybody to know i'm listening to it you know yeah except um, for everyone who's watching right now you want right to yeah, yeah 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 um actually so my my rosie uh, is good charlotte i love i i secretly love that band right you know they're yeah. good they're like awesomely bad yeah. But um, yeah, that's definitely my uh, that's that's my Rosie, dude. I, my uh, my 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 kids love fair. lifestyles <laughs> of the rich and famous. They absolutely right. love that song. They want to play it all the time. It's that that <laughs> like that bubblegum pop punk that's not really punk. I'll tell you this: you know whenever I, mean? I, think Charlie, I think of the Madden soundtrack with the anthem yep. and playing that to death. Yeah, uh, I mean, I love the Charlotte, but yeah, the anthem. They were in not school, another team movie. Not admit. You yeah, to not, not admit that you like you the Charlotte. If you like Blink Blink Blink, you could not like right the Charlotte. Right here. <laughs> if you're good on the first album, it's after the first album where they become a guilty pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> right. Venom says Ario. Farrell says says save Ferris. You can't deny the awesomeness of the first two G good Charlotte albums. <laughs> I, listen, I. I don't put them in my. I mean, they, again, everybody's. It's personal, right? I, I have no shame in Good Charlotte, dude. That stuff comes no. out. Even like their later stuff is like it's, it's good, man. Like if you actually li listen to it with like open ears, like what's that? I don't want to be in love or whatever, dude. That's a that's a catchy song. <laughs> I thought it sucked back in the day. Like I was absolutely <laughs> Good Charlotte sucks, and then I'm like, <laughs> is that the the music video where they're dressed up as fruit? Yeah, I no, think so. That, is that? I know no, that. That's, that's, which one? I just want to live. That yeah, one. Yeah, that's the one. The first, yeah. Live. Yeah. 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 See, I can't get behind that. I can't. I can't get behind. That. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, my jam. Pleasure, David. Yeah, I love that. Dalton. <laughs> yeah. Blue Scout Boy. Blue Scout. I. I, I no, except that there's they're really they're really a two hit wonder. They're. That's phenomenal. I'm not hating on that at all. I'm, I'm letting everybody know I like blue travel. Yeah. Yeah. Blade. The heart blood brings you right, back, so, man. Oh, here we go. Blade Bloodchild. Look at that. I like that Britney Spears is with that picture there. That, 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 <laughs> immediately. She's kind of like that picture nowadays. If you've ever if you tuned into her Instagram. She's a psychopath, man. She is out in left field, bro. <laughs> this guy keeps saying he's listen, gonna take what I listen to all Instagram, the time. but it's like a it's like a it's like a train wreck, man. It's it I can't stop watching. Like 
she comes on with a knife one day and she's doing crazy stuff. Yeah, she's crazy. Look, NTAC Gaming, like that's my playlist normally, what he's got. I will touch on this just a little bit, uh, NTAC. Uh, I kind of started my criteria going to the most hated bands, and that looks like kind of what you did. I went right to the most <laughs> hated bands, but at the end of the day, I only chose one of them. So, uh, but that's where I went because most of those bands on there, I'm like, uh, I'll still play it. So, yeah. Yeah. And even the one that I'm, I'm going to call out is I'll still play. But Dave, you're up, man. What are you, Rosie, what's your first one Yo. on the mountain? First criteria. Tell us what you're thinking. Motley so I kind of wrote over the place for yeah, criteria. Um, I, I, I took, I like, I started thinking about like how I would feel if somebody heard or saw me listening to this in like high school or junior high. I kind of went there and then I left from there. It, my, so my criteria is all over the place. And yeah, I mean, I really don't care what people think about whatever I listen to. So my mind kind of just went all over the place. And my first, my Rosie is going to be Adele. Adele. <laughs> and I love her. <laughs> yeah. She I, was on, dude, she was on my she list. Is, <clears throat> That's she fantastic. is, I mean, she's an amazing artist. She's yeah. incredible. But I also, if I'm listening to it in the car and I'm driving down the street, I don't want anybody to be like, yo, what is this bearded man? Listening to Adele for <laughs> who hurt? Creep. What yeah. song are you blasting by Adele? Because there's some hits, there's some big ones. Oh, Rolling, rolling in the in Deep. The... Yeah, that whole deep. album. That whole album is perfect. It's, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, she, if that I, entire if I album. Pull up next to you at the at the stoplight. Turn it up, man. So <laughs> think that yeah, was that's exactly, dude. <laughs> Singing it with you. As a as a girl dad of of older girls, uh, I've I've heard this quite a bit over the last, you know, 10 years or more. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't hate on Adele at all. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. But I can see where it would be a guilty pleasure. You know, if you're in, by yourself, rock and roll in the deep without the remix or any of that. Yeah. It might be a little <laughs> weird. No, but that go radio right, it's out of, version. It's out of the norm. Rolling in yeah. The dude, yeah. There's some really cool remixes of that song out there. Yeah. Yeah. And then John uh, Javis came out here and he said, David is a GIF right now. So apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. He, he's like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Brett, we are now to you. You're going to give us your criteria and your first one on the list. Yeah. So I took a little bit of a left turn when it comes to the criteria for the first. So I, we had a little bit of back and forth in the chat of what constitutes a guilty pleasure or not. And my first pick for the Rosie kind of subverted that you know i wouldn't turn it down this was a guilty pleasure in the context that people wouldn't expect that i listened to it and if i'd probably get some odd looks if i didn't say like wait let me explain so my <laughs> first pick um actually daniel eller introduced me into this band they are by design they were a punk band but they were asked to do an acoustic show and said let's not just play our song slow down on acoustic let's add a little bit of our heritage flair into it so my first pick is mariachi el bronx yeah you're gonna have to educate people yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like i said um they are traditionally a punk band just called the bronx um they were asked to do a show in in la and they were asked to do it acoustically which is absolutely a far departure from their style and and probably their fan base so i imagine they probably live in two worlds so um they did this show and just brought in like uh the accordions like the whole mariachi feel to it and really leaned into that not only did they remix their songs in that style but actually wrote entirely new tracks and it took off and now they have like four or five albums, cover albums, live albums. And it's just like this perfect fusion of mariachi music and rock. And it works. It's great. And I feel like blasting that, like, like David said, at a stoplight <laughs> without a little bit of like, I could explain this. Um, yeah, it probably get some weird looks. Well, Do you listen you, to it right now? I played it in my ear just now. And yes. I, just, I don't even know. Like, so a lot of these guilty pleasures, if I were on the other side and I was rolling up to somebody, if we're going for the whole cars, windows down situation, that I would be like, 
kind of like, oh, that's funny that they're listening to that. If I heard you blasting this, I'd be like, what? Is- <laughs> <laughs> like concerned for you? It's, it's technical, it's catchy, and his no, it's just cool. I just silky I'm, smooth voice. <laughs> never- <laughs> that's fantastic, though. Anybody else? Add all of your knowledge. Yeah, I don't. I, this is a this is a deep cut <laughs> again. This is I, I'm, I'm I'm drawing yeah. a blank. I'm gonna have to look <laughs> him up because you you introduced him. So so how did you hear about this group? Oh, uh, because I love the Bronx. Like they're like probably up there with like my favorite like punk bands. And I just did you know on Spotify you can be like all right, if you like this band you'll like these bands right you know and it was like mariachi I was like what is that you know I was like. I'm, I'll check it out and i just fell in love with it man and and then i mean what was that the mexican restaurant we used to go to in hammond where they had the mariachi band oh, agave. Oh, agave. Yeah. agave yeah yeah no uh you were the kiss guy they always get they'd be like oh yeah give it a big like kiss you know yeah. uh-huh uh-huh yeah. i would so always I go there when i'm going I, i'm about to go to work at kane's right next door that was right <laughs> all right guys gotta go to work you guys finish the salsa uh, yeah, this this is a cool pick. I'm gonna have to listen to them more because I like yeah. it. I mean, it's yeah, I need to too. Start with fun. 48 Roses. That song. That's yeah. one of the perfect that's intro track. Yeah. Show some interest, and Daniel's gonna text you the band until you find. <laughs> yeah. 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 This yeah. is fun. Yeah. 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 I'm the worst at making playlists. Don't ever, don't ever ask me to make a playlist for you. I'm just gonna send you discographies. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Listen to it. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, All the right. Thing is, I typed mariachi in in, in uh, Spotify. It's the first thing that came up. So oh, no way. They, they've awesome. got that locked down. Yeah, they're pretty popular. I don't know who this is, but somebody commented that Van Ickes was pretty neat back in the day. <laughs> 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 say, um, Ickes was the sickest. You know? That's right. Was... <laughs> Shut up. I think I saw it. He was on a beer koozie. I have that koozie. All right, Chris. Let's move to you. Uh, your your cr- criteria. I was gonna say credentials. What makes you worthy of being on here? Your credentials. No. What's your criteria? And uh, who's your Rosie? Um. So, hi, mom. First of all. Uh, oh. Second of all, uh, my I, I took the um, uh, turn it down if you're at a if the windows are down and you're at a stop sign sort of thing to heart at first, um, and then I also tried to think of maybe popular things that were, you know, people in the metal, in the, in the metal world might not like just because they're popular or in the, in any world, but, um, but have something um, deeper to them. Like their deep tracks are great, or they're a really good person, or they're actually a really good musician, even though they're a pop star or something like that. And, um, and, uh, and I branched out to a lot of different types of music after I stopped listening to punk in high school, because um, as a like street punk, like, street punk um we weren't allowed to listen to other things it was kind of culty so i was happy to to really branch out um my first one uh my rosie is ed sheeran um it's, hey, you know, yeah. th- he gets a lot of hate from a lot of people you know especially a handful of friends but he's he's a, like an amazing musician he's a really good singer he did all this crap from you know since he was a child an actual child I mean, he played violin for the score of uh, the Lord of the Rings movies or the Hobbit, you know, so how how do you, uh, you know, how do you hate on that? So I I really like him. I like a lot of his songs, his deep stuff. He's, uh, he's awesome. I did not know that. Ed Sheeran. Agree. Super agree. I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board with you. Um, I like the whole, like, he does the, all the loop pedal stuff. Like that's kind of one of his big deals there. Yeah. A lot of yeah, people he, hate that, I think, <laughs> or get annoyed by it. But it's good pick, man. So he's doing a song with Cradle of Filth. Is he? Why? What? Yeah. yeah. Is that no, he isn't. He did a song with Eminem. Why not? You know. <laughs> Is he? he did a song with Eminem. That's a such an unusual pairing. <laughs> it really was weird. But Cradle of Filth. Wow. I need. We need to. Look That's, at this one. Yeah. No, I, I don't believe it. it. <laughs> right. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, good stuff. Well, I, I, I love Ed Sheeran. I mean, as far as his music, um, I mean, I I don't know much about him past that, but uh, you know, my kids listen to it. Or my older kids. Yeah. I think he's a generally generally a good dude in real life too, as far as I know. Um, so 
Do you know him? <clears throat> Are you related to him? Uh, I mean, I just I see him in uh, when he, he summers in Louisiana. So. Yeah. <laughs> he, has a, he has a song with Justin Bieber that I couldn't stop listening to for the longest time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost it's, it's, my, it's, it's, my list. Yeah, uh, I, there's like one or two songs by the Biebs, but not enough. And I don't listen to them enough regularly and currently to really get them on there. there were, who's Justice Beaver? <laughs> listen. Justin Beaver, of course. Uh, listen, <laughs> hey, we got uh, Pick and Preacher. Keith is here. What's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah, man. Look, well, Pick and Preacher uh, was in a punk band as well, guys. Uh, he's a He's a preacher that resells video games and stuff. But yeah, welcome to the show, man. We're talking about our guilty pleasure songs. Kind of talked about that last night on your show, Keith. Uh, I think it's my turn, huh? I'll jump in. It is your turn, Kirk. Welcome to the show. So criteria-wise, criteria-wise, I am, uh, if you've been here long enough, you know I like to go nostalgic. Things that go back, bring me back wherever to 1985, 1995, uh, whether it was a, I was a kid or in high school or whatever. Um I, I, I being probably the, uh, the, the elder of this group, I, I have, I, I kind of hung around in the nineties anyways with, with my picks. I, I was trying to think of anything in the eighties or seventies or even before that, like my dad's stuff that I used to rock when he was in the car and none of that, I would roll my windows up for, I, I, I'd be proud to rock that or whatever, whatever the, the, I had on the radio. But I will share this, and this might be a shock to some of our new friends out there, but we are a Christian podcast, and I was not always a Christian. And so when I was thinking about guilty pleasures, there's still some things that uh, now that I'm, I'm on the other side of this that uh, I have stored away in a CD case that I didn't get rid of that I absolutely loved back in the day, and I was the kid – in 1996 as a senior that had as much bass in my car as possible, low rider truck with the wing and everything. I was trying to get a truck Sarosa kit on that thing, but yeah, so I was that. So I loved bass. I loved music that, and I love all music. And I was talking about this the other day, like when we were talking about uh, metal bands, like even those, I love cranking them up with that, with that music and just blasting it. But what I think about guilty pleasures now is if I heard it, would I probably try and secretly just listen to it without my kids in the car? Uh, because I, I now uh, am maybe either convicted or embarrassed that, uh, that I still really love it secretly. So uh, I ended up going just a little different route. So I'll start with my Rosie. Uh, I decided to choose four genres of music and pick my star. So, or my top of that, because these, if I go back, we could list guilty pleasures, but because of this, I don't listen to any of these anymore, uh, really. And if they come on though, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a jam. Uh, but I'm going to go to nineties pop. We already talked about Britney. You brought up pink. I'm going with, uh, X Tina. I'm going Christina Aguilera with <laughs> in a bottle. This brings me right back to the bar scene hanging out uh, in college and hanging out in the military. This stuff would come on all the time. And listen, I don't, I don't normally turn Christina off now. Uh, 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 and, and that's the one that she, Christina Aguilera is probably the one that I would probably still listen to the rest of my list. I probably wouldn't. Um, but you know, with my kids in the car, uh, but there is some stuff, man. I mean, it, it leans, a lot of drinking, a lot of sex, a lot of that stuff. So my Rosie's going to be, you know, 90s pop, pop and I'm going to go with Christina. I loved nice. her song in Mulan, good. which is one of my favorite war movies of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember as a kid watching the dirty video over and over and over and over and over again. But uh, as did. a younger teenager, I guess. But uh, yeah. <laughs> that song in Milan, the, the war movie. You guys don't know that. That's an inside joke. He, um, uh, for war there. movies, he put Mulan on his mouth. <laughs> I stand I, by my I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> solid. That's a solid pick. 
I don't think I got yeah. as much hate on that one as I did. Here's yeah. here, here was this list. It's Mulan, Star Wars, Forrest it's Gump, and 300. Well, that was his war movie. That was his war movie, Rushmore. <laughs> Keith says it. Mulan is a great war movie. Yeah, of course it is, Keith. Of course it is. You're always taking up for Andy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And you can't deny it. Star Wars has the name war in the title. So... <clears throat> You can't fight me on that one, and and all. Oh yeah, things- look, look. So, Pick and Preacher last night was talking about he love he loves J pop and C pop and K pop. Yeah, he was talking about that last night. Canadian pop? What's C pop? Uh, they're they're <laughs> all Slovakian. Asian leaning. Chechnyan, yeah. <laughs> Croatian pop. Chechnyan. Uh, yeah. Chilean. <laughs> Chilean C uh, pop. Um, all right, yeah, good stuff, man. Cantonese. Oh, Cantonese. I I thought Chinese. I was just going China off that. So. <laughs> Mendo pop. <laughs> all right, man. Andy, you're up. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So, uh, criteria. Everyone said it. I've had seven people or six people already kind of essentially say it. Uh, I don't. I don't care i'm, I'm kind of like david like most of us kind of in here it's like it really doesn't matter uh what other people think of it so when we're thinking of guilty pleasure in that sense uh, but a lot of this or well i say a lot some of this music is embarrassing to my kids which kind of makes it fun. yeah yeah um, i showed you a picture today about that well that's that's a that's a fun thing I'll, although i'll say not all the time with my oldest she's kind of started appreciating the same kind of music that i did but uh i'm gonna go ahead and start uh, my Rosie, uh, I got to pull my list back up. I, it went away from me. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, I'm not going too far away, maybe a, a couple years prior ish, around the same time as you, Kirk, but I'm going with Backstreet Boys. Give me Backstreet Boys. Backstreet That's good. Good. Backstreet. We knew it. I now, knew it. Most people are going are, are on Team NSYNC, and I get it. JT probably had the best, you know, solo career out of all that that's happened since and what he's what he's been able to do and with acting and music and all of those things. Um, but I've always been Team Backstreet Boys out of the two. If you, if you had to give me NSYNC or Backstreet Boys, <laughs> it was those two. I always felt that they were the better of the singers. Uh, are we just putting those <laughs> for the word pop? This feels made up. Yes, uh, X-Pop um, is my favorite. Uh, no, but X-Pop. X-Pac. I did mention him when we talked about wrestling a lot. But anyway, back to it. Backstreet Boys, man. It, it, I want it that way. Everybody, uh, Backstreet's back. Uh, as long as you love it, my heart, quit playing games with my heart. Uh, larger than life and great hits. And I will say this. I remember, and this is, again, no shame, uh, renting this video from this VHS from Blockbuster back in the day. Maybe it was Hollywood video. Uh and it was learning the dance moves to the Backstreet Boys video. Let's go. Let's see them. Let's see them. I, I, I would break every bone in my body if I tried to do that now. But, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> that was what I did. So, Backstreet Boys, that's my that's my Rosie. That's why I'm starting on my list. My version of that Backstreet Boys video was my 11 sisters doing that stuff in the uh, living room every day as a kid. So, <laughs> Dude, I had Backstreet on my list for a second. Then I went NSYNC. Then I went JT just by himself. And then I was like, no, I'm not guilty. I'm playing all that. I'm playing all that. <laughs> I'm playing all – I mean, all four of mine I'm playing. But it still all fits in the same window So of Christina. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's right, a great guys. choice. I mean, I had NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, Hanson. I was a big B pop boy. Hanson out a couple Man. weeks ago. <laughs> B pop boy. Boy pop. Yeah, a team NSYNC. I think most people are on. I mean, I think if you take a general poll, I think most people are going to be on NSYNC. I was just always 98 degrees, man. Uh, what are you talking about, man? What about uh, five? Phoebe Mac. Five <laughs> together now. <laughs> All for one. What about yeah. O-Town? O-Town. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Just that crazy town. You <laughs> plus me equals us, okay? <laughs> was it five? That was Smart House? Five. Uh, 
Yeah. When the lights go out. That was That's it. <laughs> what was the what was the boy band in um Josie and the Pussycats? Oh man. Oh yeah. It's like a du jour, du jour. He's like, you're yes. doing the LFO. you're doing the thing. That's my thing, you know. <laughs> when Seth Green and Breckenmeyer argue in the in the private jet, it's the best. Yeah. There you go. LFO. That's one. Ooh, that uh one. yeah, all right. <laughs> so look at this comment. Oh no. <laughs> Junior, how could you? Well <laughs> is he as in like break. a boy, a band for boys? It's a, a band, band of boys and for boys, yes. That's <laughs> I, I, yeah. we were a boy band. <laughs> mm-hmm. we, uh, technically we yeah. were a boy band. <laughs> we're a band of boys. That's what we should have named the band. Band of boys. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, we're never gonna get through this. List. It's We're not. Fun, it's um, never gonna happen. All right, all right. So we're starting over. This is Link. Or no, TJ, Jesse, Jeff. Andy probably wishes we were on Link by now. TJ, <laughs> Jesse, Jeff, or Dennis. Who's second on your mountain? Uh, I, I switched this one out just now. Um, As we always do is, about this time. It is a metal band technically, but I will get some flack from all the uh, elitist metalheads because uh, I listen to this band a lot. And I don't care. It's bro. It's whatever. But five finger death punch. You think? Oh no! Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it, we all no, love we all love their album. first two albums. I don't want to hear that. that don't don't make no faces. Out, None of y'all. Their song. They just put out a song with DMX, and it's awesome. You'll feel like you kissed a freight bro. train. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> if we had, if we would have had, uh. Honorable mentions today. This is definitely on my honorable mentions. I had it on my mountain, and and, and I was like, I don't know if I want to bring that up, <laughs> but I love this band. I, I love I, I knew about all I the testosterone and military and all of that, dude. I love it. Listen, That's man. military metal there. Uh, Brett got backstage passes our meet and greets and gave me one of them. Technically good. Yeah. I think they're fun. I love them. Me and Brett got to meet them. I, when we saw them for when they played the House of Blues, yeah, they're fried. Every time I I them, Andy, goes, Andy cringes. <laughs> they're the, they're one of the most cringe bands to me. Like their lyrics are stupid. Oh, I <laughs> can talk, I can talk <laughs> about now. Yep, I hate you with hatred. <laughs> <laughs> Invisible kid. Oh, this is redundant and it's yeah. Very the guitarist, the guitarist Zoltan played in uh, Devolve that we toured with. He right. did, yeah. yeah he, oh, was wow. there, he was in it before you guys, did, yeah. right? Yeah, he left to go join Five Finger. Yeah, well, the drummer also seems like not a good person. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we yes, there we go. judge me. Five Finger Death Punch. I see. This you, is dude. what this list is about because I, I think I, this would be the first. No movie. judgment here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Daniel, you're up. Like All that. right, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, far on the opposite side of Dennis for this one. Uh, this one's more like a nostalgic pick, in in a sense. Uh, <laughs> but my TJ Jazzy Jeff is Shania Twain. Ooh, oh, oh, a dude, dude, <laughs> dude. All right, Let's so just go, riding bro. around in the car with my mom when I was a kid, she had that album. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Oh, what album was it? Um. Come on over. Come on over. Yeah, dude. And on repeat. Listen to that on repeat. I love that album. That album rules. <clears throat> so I mentioned this one today. Uh, so I'm a teacher, and I, the, the STEM teacher, who may or may not come on, as, as he usually kind of does jump on here every once in a while. Uh, I, I said, well, maybe there's some country I could come up, but next week is we're talking country. Uh-huh. So I pulled it out because she might make the move the, 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 the next week. But I, uh, one of my favorite concerts of all time was was her concert. Yeah, I went with my girlfriend at the time, and that was the greatest thing she. I mean, she loved it. So, yeah. And I was like, "This yeah. is cool." They, it was I really good. Still the one. That song's awesome. Yeah, she had like five violinists on the stage, which was crazy. Nice. It was pretty awesome. That's really cool. They call them fiddles when it's with a country person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. They be fiddling. Fiddling. Fiddler on the roof. Fiddling and toe tapping. Country and western. All right. 
Nice. <laughs> okay. way, to, way to continue this mountain going. Oh, David, no. David went into the black hole. I don't know what happened to him. David, come back, come please. David, come back. He's here. Oh, David. Hey. Hey, David. All Your right. Turn. David. Your turn, David. Next. You. Oh. Am I here? Yeah, talk about yeah. your thing. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. good, good, good. I'm good. My internet's crashed. Uh, I love how he's looking into the video like like we're here. all looking into his house. <laughs> he's like looking through a people. Who's yeah. <laughs> Are you the feds? Oh. Are you the feds? All right, what's your pick though? <laughs> I can grab this last. Janine Garofalo? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> so many people. Uh, I'm gonna go with a band that I get hate on on by two guys in this. Video right now, Daniel and Dennis. Whoop! They Whoop. hate on me, and they say the worst things to me when I bring this band. I think I know what band you're talking and, uh, about. I'm gonna go with Falling in Reverse. Ugh. Their first album. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross, man. Brutal response. <laughs> There's the guilt. He, they brought the guilt. You I deserve make you feel like here for it. All right, what do you like about Guilty falling? Is charged. Falling in reverse. Why do you guys, in reverse. Falling, why do you guys hate falling in reverse? Because I don't like, like Ronnie Radke's voice. <laughs> I heard a knock upon my door the other day. <laughs> That's all you need to know about it. Been hating on me. He's still talking. <laughs> David, I don't even really like them, but I'll I'll support you right now. Just to <laughs> your first album is great. I'll support you as my friend. I love you. I just that's a that's a bad band. <laughs> What's the name about? Like standing up? Is that falling in reverse? Yeah, that... Dusty. What's up, man? It's Dusty. He's here. Your first brother. album is awesome. Are they rap core? I, I don't think I've ever really. That's exactly what he sounds like. I don't. Yeah, I do. I know. That's a pretty good impression. You like that? Just so I'm not yeah. being hated. It is on. <laughs> what? <Dead. laughs> I don't know. His internet is dead. Oh, potato right. internet. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Fall in reverse. Uh, I, I just listened to them for a minute, and I want to be on your side, David. I really want to. <laughs> you make it so the first you make album it. is. I don't but know what. All right, well, you're up, Brett. <laughs> so for my next pick, uh, I went with the the big criteria of a guilty pleasure band is that a lot of people hate on this artist. Um, I have far too many coincidental experiences in my life with this band to not to not be in that camp of disliking them. Um, actually, my wife and I are expecting, and we just went to the doctor to have one of our first ultrasounds. And one of their songs was playing in the room, and I was like, "Gosh, I want to," <laughs> but I'm I will get made fun of so hard. So right hard. <laughs> and that band is Creed. Arms wide open. I mean, you don't drop a song about the Florida Marlins with that much vigor and not get on the list. <laughs> um, if you haven't heard it, Scott Stapp does a song about the Florida, Mar Florida Marlins, and it is absolutely fantastic, called Marlins Will Soar. You don't have to like baseball. You don't even have to like music. No. And it will, <laughs> it will crush. Um, Creed's great, though. Yeah. <laughs> Think about the title. Andy already <laughs> has. Marlins is. <laughs> they don't. Wait, what's the song called? Was it with arms wide open? Was that the song in the in the about waiting the, room? Yeah, it was. <laughs> that's the baby. That's about a baby being I born. I was like, this is this is beautiful and poignant, but it's Creed, and I can't tell anyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah man, oh, Creed's man, great. great. I, uh, I'll say that on the most hated bands, this is one of them, and I am not. 
I'm guilty as charged. I, I, I'm gonna blast. I'm gonna blast this. I love them, and I'm trying to go to their uh, their their tour, but their tickets are like five hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, and it's sold out in Mississippi. That's it's like sold doing. out all across the country. Yeah. Wow. I hate that people like the Creed ironically like them now. Yeah, it's the same people hated them five years ago. Right. Don't jump on the no. bandwagon. I mean, I still you have never left. <laughs> you were well, there on the Scream left. Three soundtrack with "What If" or you won't, or you weren't there. <laughs> yeah, <right>. right. <laughs> <laughs> what if? What if? Yeah, you just get stuck there. There's a lot of great reels <laughs> with Creed, and I'm constantly sending them back to Andy. Here's another one. Oh, my friend, we meet again. <laughs> Dude, just belt it. He did. He does. It. Also, their guitarist. Oh, Alter Bridge shit was, stuff yeah. was great too. Yeah, Mark, like, so great. good. Yeah. I will tell you, I will tell you that nobody plays higher and doesn't lose their mind. Like if you <laughs> put that song, you can't listen to higher at like medium volume. You can't, and I used I remember I used to think I was like, Mark Tremonti's the greatest guitarist. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He did it. He did it. Yeah. He's got yeah. You put on higher at a there will be well behaved mosh pits at the tamest events. That's just two successful bands <laughs> in one because you got Creed and and Alter Bridge. You know what yeah. I mean? It just different singers. That solid. Stuff, Definitely a solid pick, man. I love it. Uh, hopefully, David is gone only because of his internet and not because we offended him based on his last. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that too harsh? He listened to Fallen in Reverse. Was that too harsh about that? He fell in reverse. Reverse, I know, reverse. I don't know if his internet allowed him to hear any of our comments about it. Back it up, David. Back it up. <laughs> He's got a filter. I'm going to text him and then just, just tell him to turn everything off at his house. No video games, no Netflix, nothing. Just, just your oh, phone. Just he was—he was, he was probably playing video games. That's what happened. Well, while, he was playing. While... He was playing the invoke the nightmare. The invoke nightmare I saw him. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, messaged, he messaged in the. He messaged in the chat. Yeah, he said he's gonna try to come back for the second half because his internet's. Yeah, please come back, David, if you can hear us right now, if your internet's working. David, we miss back. you. We love you. Come back. I'll listen to you first. Here, I'll listen to this. this yeah, dude. I'll give him. A, I'll give him another shot. This All was right, the we'll show. <laughs> this was the show where David was off doing the working the lights for us while we were on stage. So that's, <laughs> that's where he went. <laughs> that's right. Um, we should put a guy in there too. All right, Chris, you're up. Give yeah. So um, my next one is uh, Dua Lipa. I hey, she hey. is so her stuff is so catchy and. Um, She's a great singer. She's extremely attractive, and she is a, an amazing dancer too, which I usually don't all that care about. But like, uh, I saw her on SNL, and that made me listen to her a little bit more. Um, my kids really like her, and um, um, and I just uh, she some of her songs. There's like an underlying total theme throughout the whole song. Like some of them are like '70s, and some of them I found like had like a blues backing kind of thing for the music part that um that you know shows that it's more than just some you know like normal pop music and things so uh so i really like i i, I really like her and um uh we we have we, we've had this tradition since my kids were born that um i'd sing a song at, at bedtime um and um there's two of her songs i've now kind of converted into a slower type um slow jam thing that i would sing at um at, at bedtime. So it became, um, she, she also has a special place there, but, um, I just, uh, I like her just absolutely a guilty pleasure because I wouldn't be caught dead listening to her out loud anywhere generally, um, <laughs> in my car or, you know, uh, that, that's definitely getting skipped or, or, or turned down if, if someone catches me at work or driving around or something. I, I, I feel like I would know songs by her oh, if I, if they came on, but I, I right now can't tell you a song. Yeah, that's kind of my thing. Like, I know, I know, I wouldn't probably turn it off or turn it down because you know I have a teenager and a twenty-something, um, and so I've heard these songs. I can't pick a song that she sings though, and that was kind of the conversation that I had today. I saw somebody post like Megan the Stallion and all the newer pop. I mean, I hear the song and I'm like, oh yeah, that's catchy, that's cool. I, I just can't figure out who it is unless I go and look them up. So. It also, just this music sounds like the music that plays when you're at Old Navy. 
Like it sounds like <laughs> some of her songs ab- absolutely. It quite it's possibly could great like disco bass lines and stuff, man. It's yeah. great. I am a yeah, the music fan. is great. The Very music close the... to being in my top four as well. Yeah. Yeah. I just and she's, didn't make my list, but she's she's definitely a solid pick, dude, for sure. She's in that movie uh, Argyle, right? Or, uh, with um, so she's she's acting now too. Nice, nice, nice. All right, David. So, David, welcome back. Welcome back. So, back. David, do you have a a second pick? He already picked his. He pick. did a second oh, pick, right. Kirk. That's why. That's right. So he was I'm a up. So I'm up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm up. Yeah, um, right, so I kind of alluded to my next three um, in speaking about my high school time. My next three, uh, I'm going away from bands, to be honest. So um, my my first one, I, there's there's some bands, but away f- I, I, there's a general theme that I'm going to go for. And one of my favorite things, and still this day, when I hear it, especially like if I'm at a parade or whatever, I love Miami bass. And I love everything that comes with it and all of the musicians that come with it. I used to have all their albums, whether it was Quad City DJs or Tag Team or whoever. And um, I'm going with 69 Boys. And I (laughs) probably would only... I would I would probably only play Tootsie Roll nowadays because all the other stuff I can't play three seconds without having to turn it off. Um, but yeah, man, this was me as a kid, man. I owned all this stuff as loud as you could possibly get the system, and uh, man, I think it's so much fun. And it, and I found a I found a Spotify today that was like '90s Miami bass, freak Nick, Southern rap. And this is what I was listening to when I posted that picture. And my son was like, dad, please stop. Please quit it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had the, I rolled the windows down and we were, we, we were bumping for a second, which not a real system, but yeah, it was fun. I, I, I love the reminisce, but man, I, I 69 boys, uh, you know, come on, ride the train by quad city DJs. I mean, there's so many, but 69 boys would be my number one. That's amazing. And what makes it even better, that picture you sent in the group chat makes it so much better now that I know what music was playing. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, Dad, stop it. Stop. (laughs) I I just had to keep going forward because I knew there was a curse word or something crazy about what he said. I mean, there was like two live crew on there. There was like, I mean, there's all these old, like just boom, boom, boom. He's like, Dad, this is... You're embarrassing the crud out of me. And we're pulling into school, elementary school with it. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Yeah. yeah. In the house. What's up, man? What up? What up? All right. <clears throat> any, guy, any of you guys uh, big fans of 69 Boys? I think I I'm only not know as familiar, Tootsie but my sister had jock Tootsie jams, Roll. and that seems like totally a vibe with a lot I of didn't even know. Yeah. I, I'm not mad at it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that was the name. One of the things that I would uh that I, I kind of I kind of love about it. I found one not long ago and I found uh skating rink music. That oh, dude. that Spotify is a jam. And so I was going through some of that trying to find. The only problem is is that a lot of these guys on there like you said, that might be the one song you know and and if you're not you don't really listen to that stuff then yeah, sure. But Dave Matthews band. He's not a team. Most of them are all one hit wonder. So it's hard to pick a band or a group. So that's what brought the whole I'm gonna pick a style. Because I love that style of music, and that's my favorite. So there you go. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Cotton candy. There you go. <laughs> we lost David again. Oh, okay. Well, well one of the things I found out though, because I was researching today, most of them are from Miami, Jacksonville, or Atlanta. So that's that's where that comes from. Yeah. I didn't know all that. I was just like, oh, let me look and see if I knew some stuff for the show. Yeah. All right, man. So we are half. No, we got one more. Andy, there's so many people. There's so many people. Andy, you're up. Finish off. First half of the mountain. Well, I'm hoping that my next pick is one that will help boost the algorithm for us on YouTube because this is my most contemporary one. Um seems to be dominating the world right now and i have no shame to tell you that i'm a swifty 
you know, Taylor Swift. Let's Give me go! Taylor Swift on here. My girls love Taylor Swift. Uh, there, I, I was gonna go make a list of songs. It is absolutely a match how many songs that she has that are hits. I mean, it's. I don't know if there's an artist who has more hits than Taylor Swift has. And, and she's my age. Like, yeah. it's wild. Uh, but if I'm thinking, you know, songs, here's the thing. When I'm singing personally, like if I'm in the car singing and I'm singing a female's song and it's like a love song to like a guy, clearly to a guy or whatever, but I don't even care and I'm belting out those lyrics. That's what that's what constitutes a guilty pleasure for me. So anti-hero, lover, blank space, uh, out of the woods, uh, picture to burn. If you want to go back to her country days, that's a fun one. Our song, You Belong to Me, 22, Love Story. I mean, I could literally talk for the next three hours and give you uh, Taylor Swift songs. Um, my girls love listening to Taylor Swift. We listen to it all the time, way too much. Um, we just watched her three and a half hour concert. It literally took half of our morning away. Just watching her concert. Yeah. So um, Taylor Swift, man. I'm going to say Taylor Swift as many times as I can, hoping that YouTube picks up this algorithm and, and kicks it out to people. <laughs> Taylor Swift. You know, now, Taylor Swift. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Hey, and <laughs> there we go. I was trouble. waiting for you. There, yeah, there it is. Oh, it, we did it. Andy, I'm a Swifty. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. I know you are. But, <laughs> I have a weird, I don't know how, but I, she has like almost completely eluded me over the years. I only know trouble and I only know it because, because of the, oh, the cover. You know more than that if you heard it. Come on. Well, not like sometimes I'll hear a chorus and, and, and someone will say, I'll find out that it was Taylor Swift and I had no idea okay. it was even her. And, um, but I still wouldn't like, I don't know the, like the intro or the rest of the song. And this isn't like, oh, I'm too cool to know Taylor Swift. Like I, she started, she was dominating the NFL coverage. And I was like, I, I, I like, I knew she was famous, but I like truly didn't know that she was that big of a deal musically. Cause I, I, I was like, how have I not heard more of her? Because every it's song weird. you hear is Taylor Swift now. Okay. I mean, just, yeah. Like That's if you hear a song, it's Taylor Swift. Just, just know that. Yeah. My, my, <laughs> my middle daughter is a Swifty. We've been trying to get, you know, Eras tour tickets for like three years, and it's impossible. Wow. It's yeah. impossible without we paying like seven grand. Over, we flew over the Eras tour in Argentina last year when we were coming back home. So I have a picture of the the. Now the concert wasn't happening; they were just setting up, but you could see Whoa. her stage and everything. So that's as close as I've ever been to Taylor Swift, right there. <laughs> But yeah, we had to go with the Swifty. It's a good one. Anybody else? Uh, uh, look, we're halfway. Well, we're halfway through the mountain. Song? We made it halfway in, in an hour. Kirk, we're making yeah, a good time. Impressed. We're making great time. We're making great time because this could be a lot longer. Usually, we hit halfway with two people at um, at at an hour. So we're gonna do we're gonna do well. So uh, this is the time that we do a little bit of a commercial and kind of support some of our people right up here in this top corner are our friends culture box you can see it dropping right on time right below me at culturebox.media 17 folks hanging out here welcome to the show this is the part where we let you guys know andy and i are both youth pastors and we we love the lord and we even though we love all these crazy guilty pleasure songs we are hanging out with these guys, which are a bunch of Christian creators. And a part of being a part of the Culture Box, we announce a, a uh, one of the groups of the six, I think it's six now, it was seven, uh, groups, and uh, let you guys know one of our friends. These guys are creators that do things like Dungeons and Dragons online. They do cart they inter they uh, review cartoons or movies or TV or video games. Very similar to our show, but in a different style. Um, go check these guys out. Andy, who is our friend? Well, I know who our friend is to this time, but who are you, who do you got ready to announce to let them know about the Culture Box today? Yep. We're going to give a shout out to our good friends over at Retro Rewind Podcast. So every other week, join the Retro Rewind Pod as they travel back 15 or more years along the entertainment space-time continuum in their mission to review movies and games, establishing what is still worth your time today. Expect fun banter and trivial insights from Francisco, 
Paul and rotating guest hosts who are all out of time. Go check out Retro Rewind Podcast. Let them know the Rushmore show sent you. Uh, and uh, you're, you're bound to love it. We love Francisco yeah. and Paul. Good friends. So Francisco is awesome. He goes live every Saturday, twice a week, playing video games. And most recently, he's been doing – he is uh, uh, starting a Kickstarter to do his own board game called Junkyard Juggernauts. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool to kind of play test that with him along with PaulJPowers.com. Go, go hang out with those guys. Tell them that we sent you. But also, uh, we have a great event coming up. I'm wearing the shirt. Uh, St. Tammany Collectors Con is this weekend. And, Andy, I am going to be on a plane flying home. This is why we're not doing a Friday night show. Friday night, I am coming to hang out with you guys. We're doing another convention and we are going to hang out. We we have uh, Sergeant Slaughter in the house. We have the Ninja Turtles uh, artist, Ming from Comic Book Men, Batgirl. We're going to hang out with all those guys as well as tons of our vendor friends. But here's the really cool thing. Just uh, the beginning of the year, we launched what we call Reboot, the unconventional ministry check it out prepare to make the jump to light speed but sir they're getting closer oh yeah watch this reboot is us going into the nerd culture geek culture gamer culture weeb culture you know whatever your style of geekdom fandom uh and bringing in a bit of faith and instead of being out in the front of the building bashing the people going in we're inside the building uh just becoming friends and and loving on them and andy is bringing a fantastic message on god's love this weekend and uh i think david is playing the uh cajon for us so come on, hang out this weekend, the 20th, the 21st, at the Casting Center in Mandeville. Come find us, say hello, take a picture with us, and um, yeah, and, and 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 listen to Andy bring the word to a bunch of nerds. So we are we've got another thing, another part about this, and then we are going to jump back in the second half. Uh, coming at the end of the summer, you've seen Pick and Preacher in the comments. You've seen a few others. Retro Rebind Podcast is on board. Uh, we are doing uh, Nerd in the Word, and basically we're bringing the message through uh, Geekdom, and it will be every Saturday or Sunday. You'll see it on our page, on the front page. Go and find those out. Uh, share them, love, like them, love them. And uh, if you don't have a church, hopefully we are, we'll are we'll help find a space that is safe for you to learn about Jesus so that you can get plugged in somewhere. We love you guys. Now it's time to get the second half of our show, and we're going to kick it off with our link. And uh, Dennis, man, you are up. Let's go with who's your link on the mountain? We're going to have a crush more here. Oh! Uh, Backstreet (laughs) back, baby. Yes! Yes. Let's go. Backstreet Boys. about but we've covered larger than life because that solo is more metal than a lot of solos in metal songs yeah so, <laughs> and they just the the whole um the backstreet back video with the whole horror vibes come on man and sync yeah. who cares <laughs> solo. Yeah, I, I was going to do boy bands. Boy bands. I, I was trying to find a boy band I liked. I like both of them. They're, they're equally to me. Uh, Backstreet has a lot of uh, a lot more hits to me that I like, but NSYNC does have probably that that more popularity. But I, I, I then was about to jump to JT because I, I probably like JT's new stuff better than all of it. But, yeah, I, I love it. Great, Good call, man. I'm, I'm glad we had our first crush more. Nice. Hey, I want to give a shout out real quick. Blocky Kid is in the comments. There he is. That's Picking Preacher's son. How you doing, bud? He filmed us uh, last time when I was preaching at the last convention. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon, man. 
and uh, be on the lookout. Animation Abby is actually Keith's daughter, I believe, if I'm not correct. And Flipper Dude, that is Keith's, uh, that's Keith's co-host. So, yeah, a bunch of people jumping in. Welcome to the show. Ooh. We're at the second half. Hang around, man. Hang around. So, anybody want to add in a black back street at all? We've done it. We can move. That's Daniel, sweet. you're up, man. All right, sweet. So, this, uh, it's my link, right? Yeah. Your link. All right, cool. Um, yeah, my link is, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I, don't, I think the guys know. But uh, Sugar Ray. That's definitely yeah. <laughs> a solid one. Every morning. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're just great. They're great. I, I enjoy them, but, you know, I mean, I can get hate for it. That's fine. But I, I've been a fan since, like, their first album. Was it Lemonade and Brownies when they were basically, like, a metal band? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Super sick. Wow. But, yeah. Mean Machine. Mean oh, Machine. Well, there it is. So I think two things. I think Mean Machine from, from Road Rash, the video game. I always yes. Like, yes. Yes. On that soundtrack. <laughs> And then second thing, funny story. My wife and I got to go see Sugar Ray and uh, who else? And, and Gin Blossoms at the Hard Rock nice. Cafe. We got these tickets and Amazing. we were sitting down and there was like these old people in front of us. And I th they they had no idea what they were getting into. Like they just probably got <laughs> tickets pumped because they were at the slot machines for so long. And, uh, and the, the second Sugar Ray comes on, they got up and left. It was so uh, <laughs> I don't want anything, uh, Agnes. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I love some Jim Blossoms, man. Hey, Jealousy. They're yeah. fantastic. Forget about the song they did for the Scooby-Doo soundtrack, okay? Come on. Words to me? Let's go. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I like Sugar Ray. There's a little kid in my class. Um, I think it's. I think his real name is like David, but he goes by Ray. And every time I see him, I call him Sugar Ray. And uh, it, it comes from that. But uh, I guess he went home and, and like talked to his dad or whatever. And he came back one day and he's like, my dad thinks Sugar Ray Leonard's amazing. And I was like, yeah, he is amazing. But I was talking about him. I was talking about the guy, you know, the, the guy from the 90s, the 90s, the 80s, the 90s, 2000 singer. Yeah, I'm talking about him. And he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Let's, Sugar let's, Ray, what's up, man? Come on, and let's let's appreciate Mark McGrath. What happened to him after this? Like he was a host on every show for a while. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he was on all things like, a lot. Yeah, that kind of happens, I guess. You're not wrong about Animation Abbey. So it is his daughter, uh, Keith's daughter. But cool. All right, man. So Dave, you there? Hello. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, he's in the dark. The car. Now, oh, oh this car. is great. Look. Look at this guy. Must go on. Yeah. He's stealing McDonald's Wi Fi right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's using that data. I had to, man. Uh, I'm, a, I'm just going to go ahead and crush more of the crush more and get it out the way here. Backstreet Boys. That's what Backstreet Boys. Hey. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Triple. Yeah. A triple nice. crush more. <laughs> And it really comes down to it comes down to uh, like I said earlier, the the criteria kind of in a way is would I have allowed somebody to see me listen to this in junior high or high school? And the answer was probably no. <laughs> now I'll blast it all the time. I'll blast it anytime I want to. I don't care who hears. But that was kind of the criteria. I'm like, yeah, this is going to be up there. So yeah, Backstreet Boys. Fantastic. That's a great pick, man. I, I love that you guys are on that train. I'm kind of glad I didn't pick it. But with that being said, because we. We're getting, we're getting to talk about it quite a bit, but it is absolutely that. I love the way you said that. I wouldn't want to, somebody in junior high or whatever to see me. Yeah, I, I mean, but Backstreet's great, man. They're, I'm, I don't have any guilt on that one. You were never a Chris Kirkpatrick. You were always an AJ, and I've knew it since day one. Team <laughs> <laughs> AJ for sure, easy. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Uh, where are we next? Brett. 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 So for my link, uh, I got into this band in early high school, um, and it was one then. I'm less ashamed to say that I listen to this publicly now, but then it was kind of a weird, got the weird looks. But for link, I am choosing Depeche Mode. Ooh, good. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. So 
maybe not a polarizing opinion, but um, definitely probably unexpected for my musical taste or just how I project that to people, I guess. But man, they're great. They all their songs slap. They're I guess I've come to find out that a lot of my guilty pleasure has a lot of synth is synth heavy. And uh, I think they were a pretty good representation for that. Yes, I love it. Yeah, I'm not going to hate on you on this because it's one of the reasons I love 80s and early 90s is synth and, and Depeche Mode is awesome. And I'm sure you know, that's just I, I was born in 78. So I was raised in the 80s and early 90s. And I, anything that has synth, I'm just like my ears perk up like, you know, a puppy. Well, what's that? I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Violator was like a game changing album for me. <laughs> There's a moment in Depeche Mode's career where, like, I think heroin took over or, like, something. Uh, because, like, <laughs> Probably. You know, day one. That was day one. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, you know, they, they had, like, Just Can't Get Enough. Yeah. Like, that song's out. Like, they're like, oh, Just cool. Get in. I'm taking a ride with my. <laughs> You're like, oh. what happened to these guys? But I love yeah, it. They- they fell into like an experimental uh, mode, like Bowie, like his dance, personal his Jesus. dance period. <laughs> personal Jesus, yeah. There you go. Yeah, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. good oh, yeah, stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Synth is awesome. Never let me down again. I mean, they're good, man. I like them. Yeah, yeah. all that synth mm-hmm. stuff is great. Depeche Mode, New Order, all of it. I love it. The key. Yeah. All right, Chris, your turn. <laughs> Um, my next one is, uh, I don't know how everyone is going to feel about it. I I think at one point I would feel guiltier than that, you know, than I do now. And it might be one point when I was different, uh, but it also just maybe when this artist was different, but I'm choosing uh, post Malone. Um, He, I mean, he, but he's radically different year to year and him as a person is just insane and also radically different. But, um, uh, I, uh, I, I thought a few of his songs were catchy and I was a little late to the game and listening to him. But even then I thought like, Hey, this, it's not really that cool to be listening to this guy. So I didn't admit it to any of my friends. And then when he did that, um, that five hour Nirvana cover set during COVID and uh, playing guitar, singing in a moo moo, totally drunk. It was amazing. And, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I'm kind of a lifelong fan of his now it, even, you know, so I like a lot of his stuff and, um, and yeah, I think it would. Uh, so that's that's why I chose him. Did you His... did you see him on the uh, the CMAs doing Joe Diffie? No, <laughs> dude, that was awesome. Yeah, he's versatile, yeah. man. He's great. Uh, he just he seems like a band. genuinely good dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I I, yeah. I just like him as a person. You know, he, he covers uh, "Only Want to Be with You" by Who? Oh, dude, so good. Twenty fifth anniversary. Like, how cool is that? Yeah, it's so amazing. good. Yeah. It's good, it's too. So good. <laughs> no, dude, and actually, uh, last time I was on Rushmore, my my George was Last Kiss. He covers Last Kiss on the Howard Stern Show. Yeah. Which is awesome. Nice. Oh, wow. The yeah. Classic cover song. I, I, I would say I'm a super fan of Post Malone, but I dig it. Uh, I, I think I got kind of... His earlier stuff when he, you know, when they were telling, you know, he, he SoundCloud guy and all this stuff. And I was like, uh, really, what is this even about? Not really listening. But I think what really turned me on to start to start listening was when he was on the Spider-Man soundtrack. Right. Mm-hmm. And that song was real catchy. Oh, yeah. Let's do it a lot. And then started listening to more stuff by him because it comes in the feed or, you know, the algorithm and kind of dancing around. It's like, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, and I, I like kind of – well, he was like, a, like doing country western not – but like a couple months ago, right? Or was it – yeah. yeah. He, yeah. He, uh, He's from Texas. He the did. Super Bowl when he sung, he was like a country guy. So, right. yeah. It, I like He's it. He's, he, he, He's versatile. Yeah, he's unapologetically, uh, you know, after his 50th face tattoo, you know, just still <laughs> going it, for some reason. And, uh, yeah, and I mean, I think – and he do a song with Ozzy too. Like he's just, yep, he's yep. all over the place. He's great. They both did yeah, like, features on each other's. I just I just love this this whole comment. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Blade Bloodchild with this says Millie Vanilla. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, sunflower flipper dude. Exactly. Sunflower. Well, Chris, Chris, you probably know this one, but or any of you. You've seen the video that he did before he was famous. Have you have you seen that video before? Yeah. Why don't you Why yeah. don't you me? 
it's so bad, but it's so hilarious. It, it's uh, cringy. Uh, yeah, awesome. I don't think so. It's so good. I have to it up. Why don't you love me? Is the name of it, and it's this horrible, cringy music video that he did. <laughs> <laughs> no face tattoos. He had no face tattoos. Yeah, he was like a like a kid when like he, he was, was that like one. Fourteen. Dude, he I mean, was in a post hardcore band just like all of us. Yeah, yeah like, he, was. He, was, he was. He was out there with the skinny jeans on. It wasn't a face for him though. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If one of us would have turned into be post Malone or take that 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 story arc, which one would it have been? Who was who was the post Malone of the group? Dennis. I say David. <laughs> I would go Dennis. <laughs> That's definitely yeah, the thing to say. It would have been Daniel. We all know it would have been Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> we all know it would have been Daniel. It, yeah, probably right. Dan Daniel. Probably From an outsider that. looking in, my pick was Daniel and under my breath. Like, it's got to be Daniel. It's got to be. <laughs> yeah, it probably would have been me. I don't, know if that's a bad thing. I don't know if that's a bad thing, Daniel. I'm just letting you know. I mean, that, I mean no, I mean. To be a, a multi-millionaire with a bunch of yeah. ridiculous face and hand tattoos? Yeah, it'd probably be me. Hanging out with whoever I want? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Playing man. So, at 30? Yeah. <laughs> so we are, we're, we're coming to the end of this first, first set. And, Andy, you mentioned a game today talking about you are probably going to be able to peg some of my stuff. And we're going to talk. You probably have this one pegged. And this is, I'm going to go to another genre. I'm going to new metal. And my only band on the hated bands is Limp Biscuit. I'm, yeah. I, yeah. I, I am, dude, I, I'm a Limp, Limp Biscuit. I, I should have the, I should have had the flag for you guys, but my favorite, one of my favorite concerts of all time, 100% Limp Biscuit, DMX, uh, and Godsmack. That, that wow. was one of the best ones I've ever been to in my life. Uh, but, Several concerts, but Limp Biscuit, man, I love Fred Durst. Absolutely. I I still rock backwards hats, even at forty five. I think I'm a young guy. Uh, I had had the red Yankees hat, uh, like Roland. I um, and I would absolutely probably pay the prices where he looks like a, a minivan dad now singing, and like the the, the tickets are insane where they're touring now. But I, I love Limp Biscuit. It's it, it it's it is definitely a guilty pleasure. I would say this. I would not turn it down. The only reason it's guilty to me is because again, where I'm at now, there's some of the stuff I just can't play. I just I, it, with my kids, and that's just where I'm where I stand. So, uh, but I do love them, and I knew it would be fun to say that on this show. But if you've watched the show at all, you would you wouldn't know you, yeah. you it wouldn't surprise you. This no shock. That was my first episode when you talked about that. And we, we talked other. about this this story that I'm about to say. We we spent so long writing songs, riffs, putting things together, <laughs> pouring yeah. our sweat into doing this stuff, writing it on Tabit, and then and then doing it in person. And then we decided to cover Limp Biscuits break stuff one time at the green room. And the the simplest song in the world, people lost their minds. We yeah. covered it like a million <laughs> yeah. times too. After yeah. that, and that, that became yeah. like a staple yeah. in our set, just because the show we is, got uh, such a good reception for it. Yeah, this show is starting to make me see uh, uh, see a trend in the choice of cover songs that we did now. <laughs> <laughs> Hated band cover Hated songs. Swift, Limp Bizkit. <laughs> no, you're gonna love them. Yeah. Uh, Flipper dude, I brought that up. We did cover songs. I did bring that up. It was on my Benjamins, nice. my, my, which is That's our honorable mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a great pick. I, I'm not surprised at that at all. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I, I think, think they're number three on the most hated bands. Creed was, I think, number two. So uh, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting to see if, if anybody else on that list makes it. So I want to say something. I want to say something that's absolutely ridiculous. So I was doing some research on this. Uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but I was doing some research about the guilty pleasure bands and things like that. And I know this isn't on anybody's list, and I'm just gonna go say it. Rush was on somebody like on the internet's list of guilty pleasure bands. Yeah, and I outrageous. Like, what is I saw that a couple they times. Were also too. The most hated at like 20, and I was like, really? In what world? In what world? Are they like most the most yeah, that's insane. Yeah. I mean, my wife hates Rush, but like she just doesn't. My wife also right. hates Rush, and she, <laughs> doesn't, yeah, she doesn't get teacher. it. I'm a teacher. <laughs> I'm a teacher. <laughs> she she doesn't doesn't get it. it. <laughs> 
Yeah. So, <laughs> during our yeah. breaks, I always talk with the STEM teacher and like, hey, this is the show tonight or this is the show tomorrow. And so he pulled up Guilty Pleasure and he was like naming off stuff. And I started naming off some of those most hated bands. And he's like, no, that's not on this list. That's not on the, whatever list he was on. He's like, you have to go much more popular. And I'm like, okay. So I named a couple more popular. He's like, no, more popular. And I was like, uh, Nirvana, Metallica? And he said, yep, both of them. I was like, really? <laughs> okay. What list are you looking at? People do was hate Metallica. I think it was Rolling Stone. Like, Rolling Stone had, like, a pretty ridiculous list. I was, like, just kind of, like, looking. One? Like, maybe I forgot some songs or something, you know, just get some, like, you know inspiration and like it was like i saw rush metallica um nirvana like just a whole bunch of bands like it was like those aren't guilty pleasure bands. Anybody like, who made money we're gonna yeah. throw right <laughs> i'll say this in in the year you know and now three years of of doing rushmore i do a lot of that daniel where it's like before i think of my list but then i'll go to like somebody's list just to just to confirm hey is there something that i totally yeah. just skipped past for whatever reason and i absolutely hate all of rolling stone's lists Oh, dude, they're yeah, the worst. Yeah, I don't know who they have writing cool. for them, but a bunch of hacks. A bunch of hacks I, that don't, I don't know, know what they're writing. talking about. It makes yeah, their top no guitarists research. and things like that are yeah. dumb. Oh, yeah. no, dude, straight I ran through, like, zero like, research. They just pick, like, the lowest hanging fruit and say, oh, the most popular, and they just put it yeah. on the list mm -hmm. without doing any research. Or they go, I, I, I feel it's like they go off Spotify it, streams, feel. too. Like, the, the bands yeah. that are, like, streamed the most, streamed the least, whatever. Like, they just, they don't go off of actual facts and, like, things like that. Just, it annoys me. Looking at any kind of Rolling Stone list, yeah. I did fact check like well. that Rolling Stone. The stuff they put out there. I'm like, where did you get that right. idea? I All right, really man. my turn. Okay, my Hit link. Yeah. Uh, my link. Uh, let's just go ahead. <laughs> Shania Twain. It had to be. Oh, Shania Twain. let's go. Here's the deal, dude. You Boy. said it all. I didn't want to talk too much when you were saying it, but You're Still the One is one of my favorite songs. I love it. Uh, but, solid, but solid pick, dude. Here's the deal. Solid. I have, I'm, I live in a house uh, with a wife and three daughters. And every time I'm trying to get out of the house, I'll always say, let's go, girls. And immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but I will tell you this. If we're thinking about rolling down the window, I don't feel if I don't know if I feel comfortable singing, man, I feel like a woman. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But dude, so many good songs. Like from the 90s, you go back, Any Man of Mine, uh, that don't impress me much. From This Moment is a fantastic ballad. Come on over. Mm -hmm. Who's bed? There's have nothing wrong with Shania Twain, Blade Blade. There's nothing That's the whole Shania point. Twain. There is nothing wrong with it, Blade. And, but, and, and then I'll say this too, and I've I've shared this on the show. Um, as a child, this was probably one of my first celebrity crushes that I could think. Oh of. Oh yeah, like, absolutely. And I and and, and listen, Big Shania time, today is not is not. I mean, how old is she now? I do. I don't know, but she's. I, she looks I'm fantastic. Pretty sure, she's immortal as well. Yeah. <laughs> she's still the one. She's still, she's, the, she's one. still the one. <laughs> <laughs> Normalize Shania so Twain. <laughs> Free the Twain. <laughs> and she's she's 58, FYI. 58. That's outrageous. I don't believe you. <laughs> Eileen believe you. Regina Shania Twain. And she's Canadian, right? She is, is Canadian. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. See, Pop, I always knew it. <laughs> 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 oh man, you did it! Oh, yeah. Dude. So, uh, I mean, I'll just go back. I, I had her on the mountain, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have her on next week's mountain of some sort, somehow or another. On the mountain next week too. So, oh, good. yeah. And then, yeah. And then I wasn't sure that you guys are going to drop that, so I'm kind of glad I missed her. So, yeah, good, good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Hey, so we're at the George, man. The George. This is your number one. This is your top one. Your top one. So, all right, let's start it over again. Dennis, finish us up. I've gone back and forth on this, George, but I finally figured it out. And you all know me. You know that I love this artist, but do it. As a metal guy, people might be like, what? How are you listening to that? And I would just have to tell them 
Blame it all on my roots. Because yes. Garth Brooks, baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seen twice in concert. The best concert I've ever seen in my life. Both times. Yeah. Boy. That's awesome. Yeah, that that that's a great concert. I, I thought it was either going to be um, Garth or Blink. That was that was my my pick for your George Dennis. I um, thought you were going to say Michelle Branch, but <laughs> <laughs> the one song. The only no, the only reason I would have Blink is even in my mind. Thing. Garth would never be a guilty pleasure for me ever. Right. Like it is. That's if I'm going country, he is definitely on next week's show, and I am proud to say it for sure. Yep. Well, you so weren't in a metal like, band, so you were, we you were allowed. Here is yeah. not your top four favorite 90s country songs. Next week, yeah. Oh, cool. 100%. I, Kirk, I don't think you understand the rules. Being in a metal band, you weren't allowed to do that. You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, same, same now, you're not allowed to wear same white same. finish shoes either. What, you can listen to Chris Gaines. You can listen to Chris Gaines, but not Garth Brooks. You know, <laughs> right. Blade Bloodshot <laughs> said. <laughs> Right, and this is, this is the whole point of this video. This is the whole point of this show was that just such that I, I get the point. It's just yeah, for me, no way. And I'm not oh, even no, a country I, guy. I, I still respect it, but yeah, I, I appreciate it so much. Hey, Kenny, he was on a show before along with Paul. Kenny, hey Ken, that's a great pick, Dennis. I'm going to say right oh. now, as a metalhead guy, I own white shoes. I listen to Chris Stapleton. I listen to Sturgill Simpson. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, There's done. no rules anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> it's only when we are in our late teens, early twenties when we when we had to abide by those ridiculous, archaic rules. Right. <laughs> Can you imagine if we didn't live by those rules back then? Where would yeah, we be? I think we'd, we'd be happier, maybe. So free. We'd be, we'd be <laughs> living the post Malone life. We would. We would. Face tattoos. <laughs> really? face tattoos. That's what you do. I would have had even more white shoes than I did <laughs> because y'all wouldn't have given me. I cared about. There it is. Oh, good stuff. All right, all right. So, solid, solid. Daniel, I'm I'm interested to hear, man. You're George. What's number one on your list? Oh, all right. So, uh, this was actually the first song. Like, I knew this was my top. I, I first band. Like, I knew it was my top. Like immediately, I had my George locked in before anything else. Um, so my George is Ace of Base. I oh, am upset. Me. I love the sign. That album I saw the is sign. I solid, dude. Is so good, dude. I love that album. <laughs> but you know, all that you want when that comes on, turn stoplight, you know, I'm not. I'm gonna roll it up. Roll it up. You know. But no, dude, I, I'm a big fan. Big fan of uh, Euro, like synth pop. You know what's funny? Um, I, I always think, and, and Courtney loves Ace of Base, and and I, I understand the catchiness. Courtney, I would loves? say I love him, but I don't I don't hate on it. But I remember a Beavis and Butthead episode when they were watching the video, <laughs> and he said, "Crap in the United States, we have to import it from Sweden." <laughs> <laughs> They're featured on a South Park episode when the the dude gets unfrozen from like three years pe prior, you know, from the '90s, and is treated like a caveman, and they put on Ace of Base so he could feel at home. So yeah, nobody's coming. <laughs> they over. were also <laughs> just in the the most recent episode of X Men '97. Yeah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, they were in that. We don't so. talk about that episode. Spoiler alert! Don't ruin it for uh, me. Yeah. I haven't watched Yo, it. I haven't watched it. Watch it. I don't even watch trailers. <laughs> Get up with it. The new one comes out tomorrow, so you better get learnt, boy. I my have... my sister had the Ace of Base, the Sign album, and I took it from her and listened to it more than she did. I absolutely yep. adore Ace of Base. Uh, yeah, no, what was it? The, the Columbia House. In the running for sure. If we would have been doing, uh, obviously Benjamins, it it would have been a choice with this many people for sure. I, I, did you know this? And and I I actually like this was one of those like today years old kind of things. Um, maybe like a, a few months ago, I found out that um, Don't Turn Around is actually a cover song. Is it's, it really? Really? Oh, yeah, well, we did cover songs. It's Tina, a post Malone cover song. Tina Turner does it. Really? No, believe it or not. The, go look it okay. up and it's, it's okay. fantastic. It's fantastic. I'll check it out. I, sure. I'm implored. Yeah, I'm I have to. I've never, I didn't, I was like, no, they're lying. And I went and I'm like, she has a fantastic Flipper dude. P and Don kind of fits in my choice when I said 69 boys. They're in that same stuff. 
Yeah. <laughs> Tina Turner covering Ace of Base. So who would have thought? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That I know. I know. Is a cover of that. I know. Oh, oh. Erica, just hang along. Hang along, Erica. All right. So who's up next? Dave, you're up, man. Ooh. David, go ahead. Yo. Yeah, I'm going to go in kind of the same direction Dennis went in, but I knew what Dennis's was going to be, so I didn't go in that direction. But I'm going to go with Reba McIntyre. There you go. Yes. All right. <laughs> Reba, she she is an amazing artist, and I there's not one song that will come onto the radio mm. that I won't turn up, but then also turn down if I'm at a red light. Because again, I'm <laughs> you know, fancy is not exactly what you want to be singing along to. Dude, you know what I mean? At the red I'd light, I'd layer <laughs> fancy. When that hey, look, you're talking down, about dude. you're talking about Shania being being gorgeous. Reba is too, and she's 69. That's how Reba yeah. is. What she just did? She sang the anthem for something. Yeah. I say. Yeah, yeah. She, she also was on the Super Bowl. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, Good Charlotte sang the anthem. Which anthem? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> good Charlotte. Bam, 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 bam. What if Reba McIntyre <laughs> sang the anthem by Good Charlotte? She Dude, wrote it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I would watch that. Solid. Speaking of covers, dude, he is Legends cover of Fancy Rules. It's I think really rips. Good. It's really good. I love it too. I, I will blare. That's the night that the lights went out in Georgia, dude. That song is yeah, <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. even the uh, song for her TV show Reba. I mean, how I'll was mom, that? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's definitely that's on the the Instagram or TikTok trends now. It's the best. It's so funny. <laughs> Hey guys, he don't let me down. There you go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny, this, is, this is something you would know, but every time back in the day, and I'm sure she still does it. Whenever we would go out to the to the bar or whatever and do karaoke, Melissa would sing "Fancy" every time, every Fancy. single time. That's a good. That's a good karaoke. Yeah. Song. Yeah. Oh, look, Mary J. There you go. So, uh, Brett, you're up. Thanks, Daniel. So, for my George, I, uh, I kind of went against the grain of, of what I was thinking. I shifted a lot of things around, and I and I didn't pick a super, super popular artist. I kind of went with my logic for the first pick. Um, so, my George is actually uh, in line a little bit with Eller, and it is a Euro pop artist that is not very well known. Dadi Freyer. Um, I oh. chose him explicitly because of the amount of times that I've been listening to this artist. Um, he is 6'10 um, oh, and just packed what? with charisma. <laughs> um, he actually... <laughs> he Christian Dishler? Yeah, he <laughs> played fourth, fourth in Eurovision in 2020 and I cannot get enough of his music. Wow. He's so posting... Like disco funk line, like bass lines, it's heavy synth. It's so great. My wait, let me right, jump wait, in. My stem teacher, the stem teacher. I wish he was here. Uh, he brought his, uh, I guess, kindergarten, first grade son to his first concert, and it was him a month and or, or like a two months ago. And uh, oh. I guess he's a huge, a huge fan of this guy. I had never heard of him. And then when you said, I was like, is that the same guy? And as soon as you said 6'10, I was like, yep, because that's the one thing he said. And there's a picture of his son. He's like 2'4, two, two, and this guy's like 6'10. But yeah, uh, I, I've only listened to it because of him. I've never even heard of him. So he, he's like, I'm going to this concert. How do you spell so he's in Atlanta at one of the smaller theaters? And, and it was really cool. He got to meet him and everything. That is amazing. It's D A D I. And then last name is F R E Y R. He has the most hilarious music videos, and just his songs are so incredibly catchy. Like every single song, even the B sides, they'll like get stuck in your head forever. Yeah, that's him. That's one hundred percent him. <laughs> that's awesome, Brett. You got to send me that. I will. You All you right. if you like Ace of Base, boy, you're you're in for it. <laughs> All right, dude. I'm in. I'm on board, baby. <laughs> Never heard of him. In, in my Spotify top five, like two years well, in a row. Is he from Iceland? Uh, he is. He's from Iceland and lives in Berlin. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the things he told me. He's from Iceland. I was like, 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. His wife, his like his wife's sister and his two best friends are his band too. So it's really it's really cool. Nice, nice. Andy All right. Well, here we go. Chris, you're up, man. Oh, Andy, you, um, you enjoying that up there? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, so my, my George, my, uh, my Jorge, if you will, is, um, it's not my, my guiltiest pleasure, but it, it was my favorite out of the four. So that's why I put it, uh, number one, but mine is uh Halsey. Um, mm. she, she's another, you know, a, uh, I, I guess technically a pop artist now, but when I, um, when I started listening to her, like with, before she was all that well known and was doing features with a lot of other huge people. Um, she was, uh, she's a really good singer and, um, songwriter and, um, and she's, she's a really cool person too. She, um, I, I fell in love with her. She had this killer thing on S on Saturday night live where she sang a whole song acapella while painting a painting that was like 20 feet by 20 feet on the ground. So she sang the whole song, painted the whole painting within like three minutes and nailed you know both uh both parts of that and um so i like a lot of her stuff and she has a lot of versions of her songs where she does like one take with just a mic and um and no uh you know no no editing and no real backing music or anything and um i i, I don't know. i think she's i think she's great but again wouldn't um wouldn't be blaring her around um driving around or anything <clears throat> all right halsey there you go um, That's a solid. It's pick. weird. Solid it's weird pick. because sure. I'm a, uh, with having young kids in the house, the only song I always think of with Halsey is she's in Sing Two. Uh, she does. Yeah. She does the voice <laughs> yeah. of the characters in Sing Two and does uh, could have been me uh, by by the uh, who is it? I don't know. But uh, yeah, she's got a fantastic voice though. I do know that. Yeah, it's she's crazy like, yeah. unique. I love. Yeah, she's got a great voice. Yeah. Yeah, she she is great. I do I do like this pick for sure. Dude, didn't she do a really cool remix of uh, Ring of Fire or something like that? Yeah, yeah, she yeah. did. Yeah. She did Ring Dude. of Fire. The, uh, oh no, it was on the. I think it was in the Power Rangers. She did the uh, Johnny Cash trailer. song. It it was yeah. great. Wow. Sorry. Nice. No, Sorry. Well, about <laughs> Alsie's a great pick. I, I I my kids love her too. I mean, that's just one of those things. But. Uh, Hey, so I'm going to jump in and, and do my last one. Again, I knew this – one of the reasons I kind of picked some of the ones I'm picking is because I knew you guys were going to go a different direction. And um, and I was kind of living in the boy band, the, the girls, the – what are some of the things that old gray bearded guy would look funny listening to? Um, but this one was on the top of the list right off the bat, and my – Probably one of my favorite all-time music genres of, of in history is gangster rap, and I am going with Bone Thugs in Harmony. So nice. yeah, and, and here, <laughs> here it is. I I would not be ashamed. Fifteen years ago, not one, not at the least bit, but um, yeah, I just can't put it on. It's all about drugs, sex, and making whatever you know, crime. <laughs> Uh, but there's so many other artists I wanted to pick from. I was going to go New Orleans rap because that's kind of a side thing. But uh, yeah, I Bone was so much when we were kids. Bone was the big deal. And, you know, first of the month was kind of at the end. But that East 1999 album came out and everybody loved it in like, you know, 1994, 95. And and uh, my group of friends probably not so similar this similar to you guys you know was about five of us and we all took on the nicknames of bone and so my friend eric was easy e uh my my friend barrett was lazy bone because he was lazy wayne is still crazy uh bu busy was busy b which was brent um and H harvest was end up being flesh and bone because he was fat <laughs> and, uh, and and then I got the last name, and it still sticks. Every once in a while, when I'm in the crew, uh, I had the license plate, but I was Wishbone, and that was because this amazing trip we took down to Florida, and I tried to hit on this girl named Faith, and she dissed me. And I and and the whole time they said, "Up, oh, we we all got girls, and you wish you had a girl," and that stuck for a long time. 
being my nickname. But we uh, we love Boom, and and that's going to be my my joy. If, if if I was still back in the day, I would be bumping it immediately as soon as it came on. But guilty pleasure. If I heard it, I would still listen to it, and then be like, "Oh, here comes the kids. Turn that thing off." But yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, I, and obviously, I like more of the deep cuts. Other than like you know, first of the month is what most people will go to, but. Some of the other stuff, I, I love all. I love all of it, to be honest. And I had all of Crazy's albums, just solo. I all had Flesh and Bone solo. I had Lazy solo, Busy solo. I had all of it. So yeah, going with Bone. I, I think of them and I go to look into my eyes because it was on the Batman and Robin soundtrack. Oh, and yes. I think I knew every word of that song. <laughs> Dude, I used to steal my brother's. It's the thuggest, ruggest Bone. Yeah, I listen to it all the time. Yeah. Mr. Crossbow. Bill Collector, I still love that song. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that whole album. Cleveland to I LA. The Josh. song they did with Tupac. Yeah, oh, from man, Cleveland I love to it. LA. Thug Love. Which, you know, I was thinking, you know, a guy like me probably bumping bone nowadays, and people would look over and be like, what the heck is going on? But yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> you, mentioned, you mentioned Bone Thugs, and now we're down to two viewers right now. So uh. <laughs> everybody's gone. I've had. Quite and I'm gonna miss everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> My uncle, dude, Finn, Finn dropped that. I don't remember what we were doing, but at just at the funniest moment, the perfect moment. He, I, he just, I miss my Uncle Charles, y'all. And it was, <laughs> it cracked my ass up for about an hour. <laughs> All right. That's, that's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good memories. Dude, uh, speaking of that, you know, like what Blade Bloodchild said, one of my favorite reels is when they're like, and just to share with you, this is what Bone's saying, and they come up with those words. Thanks, <laughs> I, I, I cry <laughs> every time I see it, dude. It's so funny. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> All right. Let me get the guys. <laughs> Let it rip, We're dude. Two, the other two people disappear on us. Sub two hours. Well, hopefully, this one brings them back. Let's bring them back. Uh, somebody asked for this one, and I'm going to do it. My George, Celine Dion. Give me Celine yeah. Dion. Yeah. <laughs> will go on. Might be one of the most epic songs of all time. Uh, the Power of Love. Cause I'm your lady. That's such a that's Every, I mean that's you clear that, right? uh, I just get I get the the, the flashback <laughs> because you loved me. It's all coming back to me, dude. Like so many amazing songs. She's like, here's the deal. There was it was hard for me to pick between Shania and Celine. And what gave Celine the edge was that her songs are just so over the top ridiculous. I think that's right. like really what like. If I you can't just like kind of hum a Celine Dion song, they, it's all coming back to me. Yes, <laughs> more Canadian pop, more C pop. Yeah, pop. Uh, another Canadian by way of of France, French something. I don't know, but uh, she's she's so good. Uh, she's gone crazy, from what I understand. I, I know that she had like a. Uh, Did what, she have like a stroke or something? Well, it's called like it's some weird. It's called like stiff stiff person's syndrome or something it's like something really like super crazy rare Going uh, to Google. Uh, but uh you can't you have to you have to yell her songs and, <laughs> and then there was this whole trend of uh the the breakdown of of my heart will go on the, the titanic song makes everything better and it's like amazing like foot you know winning super bowl winning catch like that drum fill yeah, here. Like it just makes yeah. everything. Right. There's like a whole line of those videos out there that's just fantastic. So Celine Dion had to be my pick. Um, again, very much like Shania in the sense of if I'm blaring, because uh, I'm your lady, and you are my man. <laughs> like that, you have to roll the windows up in that case. <laughs> you force the hand on that one. But yeah, Celine Dion, <laughs> my George. Yeah, I kind of knew it when she said it. When 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 Erica said it, I was like, "Just wait, just wait." Yeah, it was yeah. there. If again, way back in the day, we were trying to be TikTok people for Rushmore show, and uh, I put one out, and I think that's the one that was sent out to the group chat. 
that was my number one. It was actually guilty pleasure love songs because I think it was Valentine's Day around when we posted that. Wow. So you you and, were right with the stiff person syndrome. Uh, yeah, you is, nailed yeah. it. But it says uh, rare neurological disorder that affects one or two in a million of people. Yeah. Yeah, it's like super yeah. rare. Very yes, rare. Progressive yeah. muscle stiffness and painful spasms. When she's one in a million, so there's like, you know, there's somebody, <laughs> there's some other famous person out there that didn't get it, I guess. It's every yeah. other famous person. I just get flashbacks to like falling asleep with the TV on and then like the the Love Ballads infomercial comes on and that's like yes. 2 a.m. Like, Imagine yeah. putting all the greatest love hits on the <laughs> And then just, <laughs> so, we tried to use that commercial a few times. We keep hitting it with the copyright. Uh, <laughs> Celine Dion hit us with the copyright one one time when when we did that hey, that short. We gave no, it was the Alabama touchdown. Yeah, it's the Alabama. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do y'all do y'all have the same thing where um, you remember certain choruses in order of how they were played on those infomercials with the CDs? Yeah. Like I remember. <laughs> Just the isolated chorus with another chorus after and another chorus after, and those three songs will just be associated together because I'm, I only hear them in those commercials. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, good, good. I've never, ever had to put that into words before with anybody, but I'm glad <laughs> yeah, you all feel the same actually way. actually talked about that quite a bit here on the show because of the nostalgia that's tied into it. Like, you know, going from that to Michael Bolton to, you know, have I told <laughs> yeah. You lately that I love you. <laughs> Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. You know, yeah. yeah. Tons of Rod Stewart. It's always which, <laughs> which, since we brought Rod Stewart up, we were we did the uh, cover songs. I didn't realize that he didn't write anything almost. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we talked about that in the show. It was like I everything think, was a cover. Cover, I think cover, he cover, has like, cover. Let's just say he has 70 songs. 68 of them are covers. <laughs> wow! He's built his empire on the backs of everybody else. I <laughs> love that Rod. that Peter Chris wrote "Hard Luck Woman" for Rod Stewart, and he was like, "Nah, it's not for me." He turned and Peter Chris killed it. He turned that down. He actually Which is outrageous. Down. Yeah, "Hard Luck Woman" rules. But Garth oh. Brooks has a great cover of it. He does. Oh. He really does. I I enjoy that cover a lot. He does. Hey, we got somebody back with the Celine Dion. Welcome back to the show, and we're leaving. <laughs> Ending. I think We're it might ending. actually be Dennis or Chris because they're comments. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, it's, it's one of us. It's one man, of us. We, this has been fun. This has been fun, man. Yeah, I man. am. I've had a, a blast kind of reminiscing with you guys, learning some new stuff. You guys obviously have more of the inside jokes. Um, but look, let me just say, you guys uh, individually are all welcome back. And as a group, again, welcome back again. I love the reunion type things. Um, because that's what makes this show all about. It's about the community, about the people in the comments. I, I thank you for everybody that's hung around. Um, and if you're watching this again, thank you for 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 putting in some time with us. Uh, this is, I think it's episode 117. I put that there guessing, but uh, it's either 116, 17, or 18. I was going to change it later. I couldn't remember. But we have <laughs> one more episode left of music to finish off the series, and it's 90s country I think Andy and I gave away a few of what's potentially going to be on that show. It's with a podcaster that we found named Real Life Perspective. He's on Instagram, YouTube. Go check him out. Um, and this will be next Thursday, I believe. It's either Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Next Thursday. We will be on for uh, 90s Country. And then we're jumping into movies and television. And our movies and television – we have not one of the, uh, the, the dates booked individually or um, the episodes booked, but we have a great lineup of people that said they want to be on the show. My fraternity brother, uh, two stunt guys, two guys that were in the movie Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, another guy that is doing a Kickstarter comic book named Dope Smack. He'll be at the St. Tammany yeah. this time this weekend. Uh, he's New Orleans' first superhero. Uh, he'll be on. We have uh, uh, Mark, who's a horror guy. I'm sure that's going to be a horror episode of some sort. Um, but we have a great lineup of, of people. Oh, Next Gen Nerd. 
what the podcast, all these guys are lined up. And then we're going to jump into nostalgia and sports. So if you guys are around, be sure to check us out. And uh, we'd love to have each and every one of you guys back on again. Dennis, we need this Dennis for sports. probably equals you with Paul now, I think, or maybe. Sports which ball. Means- I'm all about sports ball. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. behind yeah. Paul by like two maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So uh, I know Paul was at nine at one time. I don't think he ever hit ten. So yeah, I'll come on for sports though and talk about how Wayne Gretzky's the greatest quarterback to ever exist. Yes. Yeah. You watch you you know what a quarterback was. <laughs> <laughs> sports ball. He plays sports ball. That Joe Montana is the best. He's the best. He's Joe, Montana. Joe Montana. <laughs> he's the best wide receiver of since Joe Montana. Yeah. Joe hey, Montana. And, and, an actor. And, and, Wade and Jonathan, Blocky, Farrell, Erica, all the people that have been out in the chat. Thanks for hanging around. Dan, L, Kenny. Hey, look, find us this weekend at St. Tammany Collectors Con. And you know what? I think you guys should do a reunion tour. That's what we should do. We should have that right here on the show. Yeah. Last time we so did it. Bring your instrument it now. and you have to play something. Post Malone style. Live there you go. Humus. It'd be like unplug. <laughs> Unplugged all over. Let's just yeah. cover, let's cover a bunch of Rod Stewart songs. <laughs> <laughs> covers of covers. I'm in. Yeah. Inception. Yeah. All right, man. Well, Andy, it is. We we almost dude. We we stayed under two hours. That's crazy. That's right. But we did not do the, the honorable mentions. And, <laughs> and, and, and the Everybody think of a Benjamin real quick. Go yeah, for Benjamin, it. real quick. Go, 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 go. I have one, I'll yeah. say. Michael Bolton. Dave Matthews <laughs> fan. I like Dave uh, Matthews fan. And I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> I like Dave Matthews, too. And I like Nickelback. So there you go. Some 41. Selena. Yeah. Selena. <laughs> How is some 41? <laughs> what? Selena. <laughs> Selena. I quit this. Wait, wait. They don't have synth in their band, though. You no, they, Selena, they, they, Dinos, they, they, Dinos. All right, they're two. Let me loose in the news then. I switch. The cure. The cure. There you go. All right. Well, Andy. Tell everybody, good night. All right. Let's say good night. This is the Rushmore Show, where it's all about your top four. Nothing. 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 Nothing.